Challengers have quite a few trim packages to choose from. This one here is called the shaker. Quite simply because of the shaker, the hood shaker attached to the top of the engine which acts as a cold air intake that functions to force cool air into the engine, adding horsepower to this beast. But today this beast is not the star of the show. It's the damage caused by tunnel washes that this beast goes through, and we're going to fix that problem. Right here is just a small example of some of the damage caused by a car wash, a tunnel wash in particular, and it's because of the high alkaline foam laid down on the vehicle as it enters the tunnel. Hey, these car washes are adjusted for the worst case scenario that comes through the wash to get it clean. And not all car washes cause damage. <laughs> I have a hard time keeping a straight face even off camera, but let's just make this video about repairing the damage. Hey, this is a gorgeous car, and this is a first for this color on the channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to correcting it, perfecting it, and uh, taking a look at the results when we're finished. So let's start under the hood. For this area, we're going to use the Art to Shine Engine Bay Cleaner. This is a surfactant, a conditioner, and a protectant all in one. Simply grab a pile of your old B or C microfiber towels, pour some of the product into the towel, and get to work. Let me take a little time to bring you in just a little bit closer so you can see how it cleans, conditions, and protects plastic trim in the engine bay compartment with very little effort. In no time at all, the engine bay will be cleaned. It'll be nice and conditioned and protected as well. Moving right along, let's get to the wheels next and remove some of this nasty brake dust and dirt and grime. The next natural step will be grabbing the Atomac from Built Hammer and spraying all of the metal areas in and around the brake system, including the caliber rotors, and this will prevent rusting. The wheels, the wheel arches are all taken care of. Let's move on and get to the pre-wash and then the contact wash that follows.
With the car a lot cleaner, it already looks better, but this reveals some of the damage from the tunnel wash. My ferrous metal or iron remover is in with the shampoo, so we can move on to claying, and I only clay where, when, and if it's needed. As you can see here, a ton of bonded contaminants that the wash process could not remove. So let's get to some of the damaged areas, like these vinyl stripes. Are these beyond repair? Well, very close. But as you can see from the front up here on the hood in and around the shaker, I did restore those. So yes, it can be saved, and I'll show you exactly how. Now let's remember these are made of a few different layers, the adhesive layer and base layer, the color layer, and then a thin film or a membrane that is the protectant guarding it from UVA, UVB, IR, and gives it its look, either gloss or satin or a matte finish. We're going to work on that very thin membrane or film on top of the color layer, and we'll grab CarPro Essence Plus, and we'll grab a very soft, non-aggressive pad. That's an application pad used for applying waxes and sealants, and we'll apply that to an entry-level polisher. And that's important because it has a shorter throw, and it's not very aggressive. Let me do one quick pass or two, and I'll show you the turnaround and the restoration we can make on these vinyl stripes. Progress, my friends, a little bit of patience and the right combination, the right team of products and tools, and you can get a lot done. These have been saved. Now they will be improved as we're going to apply my coating on top of these stripes and lock in that protection and that conditioning. Now the vinyl stripes on the hood, the stripes on the trunk are saved. Let's get to work on the roof. We're going to keep on moving right along. We have half of that vinyl stripe on the roof now restored. And now we have successfully saved the vinyl stripe and slowly but surely we are returning the shaker back to its glory. 
That's going to draw a conclusion to part one of this short series. We have a lot of damage to repair on this yet, so stay tuned. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments section.